Welcome to Satisfactory, my name is Neil Lars and this is update 6, it is finally here and uh, in this video we are going to take a look at some of the new things. As you can already see, lots of new area, this is the new spire coast that we are going to explore. We are going to look at new weapons, we are going to look at new enemies, enemies, new, new weapons. We are going to look at the new map, that's what we are going to be looking at right now as I am just droning away. Uh, also, uh, we are going to talk a bit about how my coverage of uh, a satisfactory update 6 will be as we uh, as we progress so don't worry i'll be going through all the weapons all of the uh, enemies all of that stuff in this video so sit back relax and enjoy the ride and you'll be caught up on what's new in satisfactory update 6. if you like this kind of video and then consider subscribing and of course uh, hitting the like button that helps a lot with the visibility especially for something like this as uh, it is new and exciting First thing we're going to be looking at is, you can see here over on the right hand side, you can now pin comments. So uh, this is also going to list my schedule. I think that's, uh, that makes perfect sense. Hopefully that works. Consider subscribing, liking, that kind of thing. Uh, the biggest change, maybe not the biggest change, but something that I enjoy a lot is this part here about the character. So now finally, 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 it was sorely needed, but now we can finally have a gas mask a body suit, the hazmat suit, the jetpack, and the Blade Runners at the same time, and of course having different weapons. We're going to be going into the different weapons as well, as well as looking at all the new enemies. You can see I have prepared all the, the new weapons here, so that's going to be excellent. There will be some things we'll skip, but uh, don't worry, we'll come back to those in the Let's Play. Uh, Got to focus on the more interesting things here. So let's dive around. Also another thing, you can press H to holster your weapon, which is absolutely amazing. Probably the, the single smallest change that makes the biggest impact for me because uh, I don't like running around with a weapon all the time or a coffee cup for that matter. So uh, as it says on, this, uh, on the screen here, while we are roaming around in this area, oh, uh, don't uh, fall down die, I'm going to be streaming a new series uh, starting on Twitch on Thursday. It's going to be... Uh, Update 6, I'm going to be in this general vicinity here in this new beautiful Spire Coast. Uh, I'm going to be streaming at Tuesday, Thursdays and Sundays at 8pm Central European time. So come on over to Twitch TV slash Nilaos and uh, have fun, hang out, check the new things. Uh, I've also found a very interesting new location that I want to start in. That's going to be nearby and that's also where we are going to fly to. It's not an official starting point, but it is... Uh, a really good starting point. It is going to be right here, which means it's close to the Spire Coast we have at that location. Uh, also, for example, here on YouTube, I will be making at least two episodes a week. And uh, that's, of course, depending on, on the general interest we have. Now, this zone, I'd love to go around uh, killing some enemies here. There aren't that many enemies in this uh, area, so we are kind of a bit strange for, uh, for enemies in this area. So we probably have to go to some of the other zones to see some of the new cool enemies and try out our new cool weapons because that is the focus of uh, this uh, this update. But I'm going to be finding some and then uh, we're going to be testing the various weapons. Just a short note on what weapons we can expect to see. There is, of course, do I have to hold the Yeah, Here we go. And the Nobelisk has a lot of cool things. And yes, there's a nuke and we're going to be uh, testing it out on a giraffe. <laughs> there is over here, we have a new weapons as well, homing and turbo. And we have for even for the rebar in the early game, we have some interesting things. So let's start with the rebar and see how that performs. So we found our first enemy here and um, they are probably a bit broken in this area. Oh, no, they're not broken. They, we will get, give this one a, a shot. And uh, of course, we know the rebar, the normal ones. So let's try the explosive rebar gun. So you have to change it. It doesn't change over in the right lower left hand corner, but you have to reload and then you will get the new one. So we'll go hunt for it. Ah, uh, that's not great. Yeah, they're kind of broken. Ah, look at that. That deals a magnificent amount of damage. Considering we can sh we can kill spitters in one shot, that is pretty amazing. Irrespective of the fact that uh, that they didn't do much. And they seem to be a bit broken, so they're not so interesting for this perspective. I'll be looking for some of the new little hatches. They are really interesting. And that's a perfect opportunity to try the shatter ammo, which is uh, actually pretty cool. We could also do the stun on uh, on this guy here. There was a guy down there, but uh, since they are not moving, then stun is probably going to be a bit irrelevant. I know there are some uh, some of the new hatches down here. 
uh, somewhere. So let me find the hatches and we'll try this shatter ammo. We have found some nests. Here they are. They are uh, sitting sort of nestled here. Uh, one thing though is that you can, even with a Xenu Sapper, you can just run over. Oh, that's not a Xenu Blade. You can just run over and kill them before they spawn. But that's not interesting. So what we're going to do is we are going to shoot. Let's see if we can do it. That didn't do much. But look at this part. Oh, come on. I would, should be able to kill more than one. Point of this would be that you can shatter and they will be actually shooting multiple shots. Ah. But the, the cool thing is that they keep respawning. You can see it's more of like a shotgun thing. So maybe at that. Yeah, we managed to kill two, but once. Yeah, we're going to change the ammo here. It doesn't seem to do any damage up close. So it's like shotguns in every single game. Every single game. You know what? I think we'll try some, uh, some, some copium here. And go back. And then let's try another ammo. And that's going to be the stun gun. Doesn't make a difference. The explosive is probably a good one against this. Nope. Maybe it's... There we go. Got it. And that one should be out as well. But they keep respawning because this card is kind of funny. There actually is one down here. Did we get it? Yeah, we did get it. It's kind of hard to see whether you got it or not. All right, so rebar gun, that is it. I'm gonna look for something that I can uh, try the stun gun on. Uh, so we probably have to move out of this beautiful area, but this area isn't that, uh, it, it hasn't been done the, like the final game pass. So there are no slugs, no uh, crash sites, no resources. And also the enemies, some of them are pretty derpy. Okay, we found a thing. Let's have a look at the stun. Look at that, it's stunned. And we can just, yeah, that, there might be a slight, slight issue with the, the units here. But the cool thing was that you could see with the stun, I think the stun is really good, especially combined with uh, with this Xeno Basher. Then you can, then you can just stun them and run up and kill them. I think that's really good. And I think that might be the most useful of the, of the rebar gun. The, the rebar uh, explosive is also pretty good. The shatter, mm, I couldn't really hit more than once, so it didn't really matter. Well, onwards to a better weapon then. Uh, we are going to be playing along a bit with... Yeah, also, uh, take a look at my health bar. It is now self-regenerating, which means it lowers the need for, for eating anything, basically, by quite a lot. So now the health potions are just for panic things, not for just a gradual recovery. So if you only uh, play poorly once in a while, it is absolutely not a problem. Let's go to another zone where we know we can find some of the splitters that are not so bugged and then try the different types of ammo for the rifle. Continuing in this uh, Spire Coast area, we've now found a few more of these uh, hatches. So let's uh, try and uh, this is a good opportunity for me to use the homing. So if we get closer to this and uh, see that how it works, they spawn and that's not, that's not it, this one. Reload. Anytime now. Well, that didn't work particularly well. Let's get a new batch of spawning here. So you can see anything in this area that is highlighted with the Corsair. Look at that. I don't even have to aim. Uh, it doesn't target this one particularly. But I think this is amazing. They're kind of expensive. But uh, for stuff like this, for stuff like the small ones... Look how easy it is. Damn, I like it. This is for uh, non-FPS players. I absolutely love this one. And also, I do like... Oh, look at this. this. So as soon as we transition into a toxic area, then it will just immediately switch on the gas mask. Oh, hello. And they're actually getting killed by the gas, which is really interesting as well. 
So if they are in the gas, then yeah, they, they just die on spawn. Right, let's find some uh, some bigger targets to try out the turbo rifle because that needs some bigger targets to really see the effect. And in case you're wondering about this base, well, this is my uh, update five base. I will of course be starting completely anew, but uh, just to get a sense of it, we're at the top of the 15 level high uh, turbo fuel tower. And uh, as the sun comes up, that's a good place to get back in here. So if you are interested in some gameplay and some designs, then uh, there are tons of episodes here on YouTube and also VODs from existing live streams available. And this has everything built and everything unlocked. So nothing is uh, left untouched in this uh, base, but it is therefore time to start over. We're going to be starting up here, or not starting, we're going to get back in here because this is a good place to find enemies up here. So uh, we'll be uh, changing. Uh, going out of this and go here and then we'll just be just uh, jumping into the fun part here and then hopefully we'll find some enemies that we can give a shot and try our new weapon here uh, our new uh, turbo rifle uh, we can use it on some of the small ones maybe there's there should be something up here right there should always be someone protecting some uranium no i do feel that the spawns uh, have become rarer uh, so let's let's roam and find some big enemies to shoot with our turbo rifle. We finally found some enemies here. This is a good opportunity to test out the gun here. The, and then if we start shooting. And it's lovely, isn't it? It's a great way to spend a magazine without hitting a damn thing. It, and it ran away. I can understand you running away. Oh, there you are. And we got it with only 80, 90 bullets for two uh, two of these. I um, It's also like has a bit of a scatter, so it um, it's not as accurate and each bullet deals less damage. I think it's pretty fun to use, but I don't think it's as good as, as the other ammo. Uh, here we have a great opportunity to be testing out some other weapons. Well, we all know that what happens with this. Um, so I think that when we come to to the giraffe there's only one thing to do and that is figure out how well the giraffes deal with nukes the answer is surprisingly well it it keeps running all right well um we'll uh, try another weapon uh there's also a Cluster. And all of these are kind of dangerous. There we go. We got it. I think, yes, we got it. Right, so let's uh, let's have a look. So if we go back to that nuke one, because that's obviously the most fun one. Uh, it's kind of lethal. Kind of lethal. And if you stand too close... You also take damage and there's a lot of sort of residual radiation. It takes out almost anything, not the giraffe. The giraffe needs like a tiny poke afterwards. So anything basically after you throw a nuke at it, it will kill it. Uh, but they are, they're fun. And uh, what we want to do as well is the pulse grenade. Uh, that's another kind of grenade here, uh, there. The pulse grenade is great if we find someone that is on the edge because it kind of oh shh. okay that did not work i wanted to throw you off the off the cliff mm, i don't actually know if it deals damage well no it's it doesn't seem to do damage it just seems to uh, 
Yeah. I think it's for throwing things off cliffs. Uh, that's at least the stuff that I can find. Uh, let's get some other one. Let's get uh, the poison. Yeah, let's do that. Come on. Oh, did you drop off? Hmm. You might have fallen off. How disappointing. Oh well, we'll uh, continue looking for more. Right, we found some things down here. Some big spiders. Uh, no, some big eggs. Ow. So this deals some damage in the area. Uh, it's great against things that don't move anywhere. Uh, or the hogs that charge you, so they stay in the area. But anything that doesn't stay in the area is kind of irrelevant. And it also poisons yourself, so make sure that you get your uh, gas mask on. Huh, I don't think we killed it. We just I just think it disappeared. Again, with another one that, that ran away from us. Hmm. Well, we can continue down there. There's uh, certainly another one that could get a poison grenade. Let's see how that affects. Well, unfortunately, we can't really see how it affects because it's not going to get, get killed by it. Oof, does it follow? No, it stays at a location. All right, what about you then? It's taking damage for sure. Look at that, it's taking damage. Hey, look at that. It actually it actually works really well against these as long as you don't get hit yourself. And the cluster grenade, I have honestly not found a good use for the cluster grenade. Maybe you have. Uh, the cluster grenade is... We can just try it here again on the big guy. The thing with the cluster grenade is that it's... Yeah, let's, let's have a look at it. Oh! Hello, bird. You didn't... You just didn't care. So the cluster grenade will just throw out multiple grenades, but the problem is... If you're not hitting it with the first one, then hitting it with the subsequent is kind of relevant. So, yeah, I I just don't think the, the cluster grenade... That, that's very rare cases where you have like a swarm of enemies coming at you. Like that. For some reason it didn't spawn the extra ones. No, it doesn't spawn uh, the extra ones in this case. All right, well, what else can we do? Let's try the Pulse Novelisk on this. Boom, but it doesn't do any damage. There is really only one answer in case you are... Uh, you want to have some fun. And you know it, it's late game. But it's the way to do it. That was not it. That was the nuke. I wanted the nuke. You have to remember to... Ah! Okay, that was... I got it. <clears throat> I also got myself almost. But that's kind of how it is. Right, so let's uh, recap on uh, on the weapons we've, uh, we've tested. We've tested all the different shots here. I really like the homing. Uh, this one's fun to use. Uh, I think actually the normal ammo is also really good. Just... Uh, just it's rapid fire and it just deals good damage. And when it comes to the Reaper, well, obviously that's an early game choice, but the Explosive Reaper deals a lot of damage. And the stun one can be super useful for closing in and slashing as well. The, re the Shadow, well, I, in theory, it should be good to have like a shotgun option, but I just didn't really feel that I could hit a lot of things with it. Uh, over on, of course, on the grenades, that is the where the fun stuff is. The nuke is the most fun, but also like really expensive and a bit pointless. The gas nobelisk is is probably pretty good against uh, spitters because you can just throw it and leave them there. Uh, also, if you can lob it at one of the the hatchers, then they will kill them as they spawn. It will can't, not kill the hatchery though. Uh, cluster bombs, well, yeah, maybe. If you can't hit with a grenade, maybe the clusters will will hit. The pulse, I haven't really found a use for it yet. I, I imagine it's super cool for knocking things off cliffs and stuff, but yeah, I. I've, 
it it will uh, be time to to say to see what uh, what that will what we'll get there. Uh, so uh, what you can expect from me in uh, in the future is on Thursday at 8 p.m. Central European time, uh, I will be. Uh, I'll be streaming a new series, so we're going to be starting from the get-go. We're going to be starting in the Dune Desert, and I am going to make my way to a location that I have identified that is super nice for resources in the early game. It is going to be, uh, let's see, so Dune Desert is up here, and then it will go down here, and in that corner here, there are two iron locations, one copper, one stone, and it's also close to coal as well. So it's a great place to get started, and then we can move into the Spire Coast and build a giant mega factory at that location, which is obviously what we want. And that is the plan. And of course, keep an eye on here on YouTube for more content. Uh, there will be much more guides, let's plays, that kind of thing. Uh, mainly, I'll be focusing on design choices and design uh, things. So you can expect to see effective designs here. Maybe not the most aesthetic always, but they will be uh, pleasing because they will be efficient and effective, uh, the di designs. So I hope you want to check it out. Hope you want to follow along. Thank you all for liking, following, subscribing, hanging out on Twitch and on the Discord. Until next time. Take care, and as always, stay effective.